I want to be the very best, the very best in terms of key binding. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. Please forgive my horrible, horrible Pokemon redo song in the beginning. These, these intros are not easy to come up with, just letting you know. Uh, in today's episode, we went to Twitter to ask you guys what you wanted to see, what you wanted to learn, and Kalwinga22 responded, changing default keys, which keys people commonly switch, the most strategic way to have them set up. So let's jump in to this key binding episode. So this could either be done in game with the options, or if you're on the mainstream, you also have options right there. We'll just go ahead and join a world because, hey, why not? Worlds are fun. I like Minecraft. So do you. This is the best. Wow, we have so much in common. So you're going to go to your options and then your controls. And this is where all of your key bindings are held. So some of the ones, some of the key bindings that people change most often will be your sprint and uh, sneak and getting out of, uh, getting off of, of either horses or out of mine carts. That would be the jump out of things button. Which button is that? Maybe it's just the sneak button. Yes, it doesn't look like there's an extra one. So instead of uh, left shift and left control, they basically flip these. So sneak will be control, and then uh, you can see in in the in the uh, selector you can just go and oh my gosh, there's two things, and then this would be shift. And people do that mostly because a lot of other games, if they are playing, let's say Grand Theft Auto or some sort of other shooter. I don't actually don't think Grand Theft Auto uses these keys, but shift is normally the sprint key. So you could you can see that you would get used to holding down shift to to run. And I'm just running around just to show you that hey, it's it's a work and I'm holding down shift and I'm running all about. And then control is the sneak key, which to a lot of people uh, makes a lot more sense. And let me just confirm my suspicions that Whoops, throw that out of my inventory here. I swear that I've played this game before. So we put that there, throw that in there, get in, and then shift does not dismount, and then control does. And it'll even say, oh, look at that, press control to dismount. Oh, that's really cool. So you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this if you want. I know some people have a hard time using their pinky key whenever uh, they're running around and so another option for you might be F. F isn't really used for anything at the moment except that in 1.9 it'll probably be used for all sorts of stuff. So F uh, is a good way. Sorry, I don't know why I thought F will allow me to sprint. I'm hitting the F key here. You can also see that if I was to change, let's change this back to sprint will be control and this will be F that once I get in here it says F press F to dismount which is kind of nice um, one other thing I want to mention is that inside of the controls you can invert your mouse this is where you invert your mouse and you can also turn on touch screen mode which I don't have a touch screen so I can't really show off but that is where that is set I wonder yeah, no, I don't. I don't have a touch screen, so I can't act actually demo that. You can always reset your keys right there, which is great for me. I tend to play on default because I don't. Sometimes there's game modes uh, uh, later that uh, they kind of assume that that you know E is going to be inventory and Q is going to be drop item, and I don't want to mess around too much with that. So that's my preference, but. All of these are right here. This is also, let's say, if you have a gamepad. Uh, I know some of my friends uh, that I have, like, from uh, school. I have friends, okay? Don't judge. I have friends. Uh, some of them have mo uh, mobility issues, so they have their own controllers, and that's where you would select those keys as well. Also, let's say you wanted maybe these to be your numpads instead of uh, normal one through nine. You can do that. 
or let's say you're used to I for inventory if you're playing on the beta forever ago. That is uh, that is how you open your inventory. That is where that is changed as well. So there's a, quite a lot actually in this control menu for you to use. Also, if you accidentally uh, you know screw up your your streaming or whatever, uh, you can do this. Let me think. Is there a way to set this as nothing? How do you set this as none? There we go. Escape. Escape. Oh, I figured that out so fast. You can set this as none by clicking in and hitting escape, and that will set whatever the current thing you're selected to none. So it does. It might not happen, which is good for streaming if you <laughs> if you put your streaming stuff in there. Uh, that's 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 scary. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed learning about rebinding your keys. I hope that we answered your question, Kalanga22. Thank you so much for sending your tweet over. You can follow me at OMG Chad is the Twitter handle thing if you I want to just stay updated on my life. I don't tweet about OMG Craft all the time, but when I do, yo, that's the place for you to see more of me talking about OMG Craft. And, I don't know, my pets or pizza. Who knows? Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you want to subscribe for future episodes, youtube.com slash OMG Craft is the place for you. Please leave a comment or a like down below. Let me know what do you think about this episode. And, you know, just if uh, can we get to uh, 100 dislikes on this episode? Can I just say? People are doing the like thing. I'm going to be opposite from them. Can we just get to 100 dislikes? That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Thanks so much. Uh, and uh, see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye!